Okay. So let's see how the differential equations are applied to system theory. Okay. All the things are system basically. All the things are system. Even human or robot or whatever. Everything is system. System can be divided by some category that there's one category is a linear system. Linear system can be described by y equal to ax plus b or vector y equal to matrix A vector x plus matrix B. Linear system. And other systems are nonlinear system. Nonlinear systems are complex and complicated. So in general, we write as y equal to function f of x and whatever other variables. One category is a linear system or nonlinear system. The other category is continuous system. or discrete system. Continuous system is... Actual physical system is continuous system. Actual physical system, all the physical systems are continuous system. And discrete system, discrete system is basically, for, for example, computer. Computer is digital computer. So it has specific sampling rate. It's not continuous. Continuous is something like time is continuously, if this is time, continuous system works like this. It's continuous. You know the epsilon delta. By the definition of epsilon delta, it's continuous. Discrete system has specific sampling time. So it's working based on specific frequency. So your Pentium computer has, for example, 2.7 megahertz. For each second, it's sampling by 2.7 mega times. Many samples. But anyway, that's discrete system. So basically, computer system or your smartphone or all the controllers are discrete system. So nonlinear system is here. Uh, continuous systems are described by <coughs> differential equation. Differential equation. All the continuous systems are described by differential equation. So here, the motion of this black line is described by y dy dx dt equal to function of y and time, something like that. That's differential equation. So it's thinking about the derivative at all, po at all points. Differential equation. And discrete system is difference equation. Difference. Difference equation. So it's thinking about the difference between time k, this is time k, this is time k plus 1, this is time k plus 2, and how my state at k plus 1 will be affected by my previous state. So x k plus 1 equal to x k plus something, something, something. Difference. Basically, this is difference. x k plus 1 minus x k. Difference. Equal to blah, blah, blah. So every digital system, your smartphone, computer, is basically working on the difference equation. But in the real world, all the things are differential equation. Then you need to change differential equation into difference equation. That's what we say, discretization.
ทับอีกปีโอเค Also, as I told you, in our scale, in human scale, all the things are non-linear system. So we need to change non-linear system into linear system. That's top A, A linearization. If we linearize a system, if we can make the system, if we can describe a system to be linear, then we can see many, many good properties. Many good properties. For example, for linear system, we can linear analysis. We can do many linear analysis, such as stability. Whether the system is stable or not, or controllability, or observability. Stability is whether something is stable or not. Uh, controllability is something that you can control it or not. Observability is something that you can see the details or not. For example, what about your heart? Is your heart stable? The joy is still alive. Eh? Yeah, your heart is stable. Can you control your heart? No, no. If you can do that, stop it. Try it. No. Can you observe your heartbeat? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> those are the physical meanings of those things. So if we uh, can make the system to be linear, then we can analyze many things. Okay, so given system, okay, any, everything is system. Everything is system. Given system, uh, in our scale, all the things started from here, nonlinear system, and it's continuous. If it's in the physical world, then we model it as x dot equal to f, x, and other variable. U is in general control input. Control input. Some input is exerted to the system. For car, your input is accelerometer. You push it. Nonlinear function f. And we can convert nonlinear system through the linearization. This is, you can say, numerical method. As if it's linear. If it's linear, it's x dot equal to ax plus bu. Then you can solve it, right? You know how to solve it. This is a linear first order differential equation. If you solve it, you can solve your homework. You can solve your final exam in a examination, but you cannot control it because controller is basically a discrete system. You need to control it using smartphone or Raspberry Pi or computer or some, some specific digital, digital computer, digital hardware. So you need to make it discretize it. So discrete, if we discretize it, differential equation is changed to difference equation, difference. Xk plus my next state is function of my current state plus some control input. So in general, the procedure goes like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 is set state. First thing is define your state. For example, if you are interested to me, if you're interested to me, what is your interest? My weight, my age, my IQ, my IQ. Let me tell you, 200 and below 200. Okay. The, my interest, um, I am system, but your interest could be different. That's your state. If you're interested to my weight, then my weight is 
state. If you're interested in my age, my age is state. Or if you're interested in my angle, arm angle, then I'm robot, then this is your interest. If you're interested in my position, my XY, XY, yo, then that's the state. The state depends on your interest. So first thing is, is define your state. Set state. The state is X. For example, my X, Y, yo. My location. Or if it's a satellite on the sky, then it may be three-dimensional state. X, Y, Z. Roll pitch, yo. But if you are interested in the battery status of the uh, satellite, then your state is just very voltage, voltage V. It depends on the engineer's point of view. First, zero step is set the state. And given the state, step one is model, do the modeling, engineering modeling. Because it's real system, it should be differential equation. And most cases are nonlinear system. Once it's modeled, once it's modeled, with a nonlinear system, we cannot do many things, unfortunately. We cannot do many things. Let me say one example. So we need to do the make it linear. Do the linearization. So we need to make it linear. Why? For example, two-body problem. Newton solved it, right? This is a linear system. Why? F equal to MA. Linear system, right? Linear. Linear. So, people are surprised. And Queen, I, I don't know, remember the Queen's name. Queen Sweden's king is very interested in this. So Sweden's king, queen, Sweden, Sweden's queen, put a prize that if somebody solves three-body problem, because this is two-body, three-body problem, she announced that she will give so much amount of money. I do not know how much. For example, like this. So many scientists, many mathematicians tried it, tried it. Just two and three, one difference, right? And not that much difficult. So one people, Bonkare, sold it. He got the prize. And after one year, he proved that he was wrong. <laughs> not only proving he was wrong, but also he proved that this is not solvable. It's not solvable. It's so much dependent to initial condition. So if the initial condition is slightly changed, then all the things are different. That's what you know, butterfly effect. If butterfly swings, then here comes a storm. That's the typical characteristic of nonlinear system. Simple nonlinear system, but still unsolvable. But nobody knows whether he returned the money or not. Nobody know it. Maybe somebody know, but I do not know whether he kept his prize or returned it. Anyway, by extending slight bit of amount from linear to nonlinear, many problem becomes unsolvable. So that's why we need to make it linear. Then to control it, we send it to, uh, we convert it in a discrete version, and we handle this using our computer. That's all the things about system control theory. So, now we know what's the differential equation. Uh, we, we can see that. Now let's see how to linearize it. Linearization. Linearization or numerical method. Okay, let's say y equal to fx, nonlinear system, nonlinear function. Okay, this is nonlinear function. Then, if you take a look at here, 
Then I may draw it here like this. Then it's similar to line, right? Linear. It's linear in the vicinity of in in in, in very small finite amount of places. It's linear. Then you may approximate it as combination of combination of linear lines for any nonlinear system. Let's say this is a very small amount of delta, very small delta. And any nonlinear system can be modeled, approximated, can be approximated by linear function. Then we divide it in a very, very, very thin slices and linearize all the things. And repeat it. Who repeat it? You don't need to repeat it. Computer will repeat it. So no problem. Computer will slice it. And then he will linearize it. So here, let's say this is a nominal point, x star, nominal point. Nominal point is some point of your interest. Then you want to draw a line like this. If you draw a line for a long distance, it will be like this, a line, linear line. Then what will be the equation of this line? Line is in general y equal to ax plus b. So this line, fx is a angle, tangential angle. Tangential angle is Tangential angle is f prime x. Tangential angle is f prime x. So, a x plus b. B is this value, f x bar, x star. Oops. And here it comes, if your interest is x, for example, if your interest is here, this x, differentiation is x star, I'm sorry, it should be on the nominal point, it should be on the nominal point, and this is x minus x star, deviation from the nominal point. Okay, this is the line equation, blue line equation. So my real fx is blue. My real fx is approximated, approximated as line in y equal to ax plus b form, but only, only in the vicinity, in the vicinity of my nominal point, x nominal point. That's the linearization. Using this linearization, uh, we can solve an interest problem. For example, stock estimation. And here it got. Fx, let's say Ft is stock, stock value, and T is time and f prime uh, f prime y stock value let's see y sorry y stock value 
and f prime y t is uh, Jacobian. First, first derivative. And in this, in the morning, in the morning, in my dream, in my dream, God told me that, God told me that, God will tell the Jacobian of specific company if I ask it. God told me that He will tell me. Let's say what company? Let's say LG, LG stock value, and this is today. And God promised that, promised me that He will tell me, He will tell me the Jacobian. If I ask Him, "Hello, God, what will be, what will be the change of change of LG stock?" At today, today's stock value, what is the stock value of LG today? Let's say 500. Then God will tell me it's 5, for example. And He promised that whatever value I put it, okay God, then what about tomorrow? But tomorrow it will be, let me say, it's increasing, so I may say 505. And God say it's minus 100. Okay God. Then what will be plus two days? Okay, he said 100. Then what about my approximation is 405. Then God will tell me plus 500. And I may repeat it, right? I may repeat it. By doing this is the procedure of linearization. Because I say, there's specific nonlinear function. Basically, nonlinear function we do not know. We do not know it. Here, it's time, and it's today. And I said every one day spent, and next day, and two days later, three days later, four days later, five days later. I said every day spent. And today, I know the exact value because it's given to me given to me. So I set my x star, this is my initial nominal point, and I know the value. I know the stock value. And this stock value corresponding to my current value. I know this. And if there is some differen differential equation, I can find this Jacobian. Then I may ask, estimate it. I can find the Jacobian here because in this scenario, God tell me the Jacobian. God tell me the Jacobian if I ask it. And I extend it according to my span. I extend it by one day. Then my next estimation is this. Then I set my next nominal point here and I set my next f x star value here and I find the Jacobian and here is minus 100 so Jacobian is like this and I extend it by one day span and I expect the next day's value like this and I repeat it and I repeat it and I repeat it then then we can solve we can solve any linear or nonlinear, any nonlinear or linear differential equation. This is what's being called oil method. This is the Euler method for uh, the for the simplest case. Simplest case means for the scalar input and one function, scalar scalar output. For the simplest case, this is the Euler method, and we can extend it. We can extend it. 
in a way that before extending before extending there are some better method because oil method is considering only the derivative here only the derivative here then what if the curve is very sharp like this then if we think about just derivative here then his next step estimation will be here, but actually it's here, large error. So Euler method is the naive method, the basic method. So better method is considering not only this point, but also the next point at the same time. See the Jacobian here, see the Jacobian here, minus 100 plus 200, then average it. If I average it, then it's 50. So I estimate it in this way, 50. My next point is here. Then better than all the method. Two parameter. That's all the method is the naive method that was developed by Euler. And then if I think about two points, then that's what you say, trapezoidal. Because we are building kind of triangle, trapezoid method, and more advanced method is what we say Runge-Kutta method. It has various versions, but typical version is fourth order. Using Runge-Kutta method with fourth order, then we can very nicely solve any differential equation. Actually, this is the basic method of MATLAB. MATLAB, MATLAB is a very powerful tool, and MATLAB is basically using Runge-Kutta method, first order, to solve all the things. So those can be uh, extended numerically extended, as well as the dimension can be also extended. Here is scalar, scalar, but let me extend the dimension to vector. To vector. Vector or multiple input, and let's assume single output. Then y equal to f x1, x2, xn, multiple variables, but there is single output, one y. Here, if we linearize it, then our x. In this case, we write vector, bold x. If we linearize it, our fx is approximated as f prime x, x minus x nominal plus f x nominal. Now, this f prime x is slightly different from the scalar case. This is scalar, but here is vector. It's vector that rho f, rho x1, rho f, rho x2, rho f, rho xn, partial derivative, because it's function of n different variables. Finally, one more extension, one more extension. Vector input, 
vector alpha. This is general system. In general, system has multiple input and multiple output. <coughs> so there is y1, y2, ym, multiple output, and input is x1, x2, xn, x1, x2, xn, m, m, xn. This is general system. Then we write simply bold f and bold x. And we simply write bold y. So y equal to fx. Still, it's a linear system. Then, if you linearize it, fx is approximated as f prime x x minus x nominal plus f x star is basically the same but this is different and this f prime x is what we say general Jacobian is this case is for one vector case this case is repeated repeated by m times so this case is for f1 This case is repeated by m times. So, oh, two. <clears throat> One. Two, one, two. Oh, thank you. M, 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 M. This is Junior Jacobian, and this is. In scalar form, it can return x1 minus x1 prime star, x2 minus x2 star, blah, 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 xn minus xn star. And this can be written as f1 x1 x nominal. f2 x nominal, blah, 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 f m x nominal okay okay this is the general thing of linearization ja unyeo yeokkae dokkaeja